Later tonight, we'll know who Atlanta's next mayor will be. Voters choosing between city council members Keisha Lance Bottoms and Mary Norwood. And both candidates go into today's runoff with the backing of some big names. We have team coverage of today's vote. Fox 5's Morris Diggs is with the Bottoms campaign. But we want to get started with Claire Sims, who's following Mary Norwood tonight. Claire. We are live at Park Tavern overlooking Piedmont Park where the Mary Norwood campaign hopes to celebrate a big win tonight in the mayoral race. Now take a look at this video. Norwood uh, cast her ballot at around 10 o'clock this morning at Peachtree Presbyterian Church in Buckhead and she has had a jam-packed schedule as she tries to win over some last-minute voters ahead of the polls closing tonight. Now the second time could be the charm for the longtime city council member. She was in a similar position eight years ago in a runoff election with current Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed. Now this time around, Reed has backed Norwood's opponent, Keisha Lance Bottoms. This is a nonpartisan election, but Bottoms has focused a lot of her campaign on reinforcing the fact that she is a Democrat. Norwood, on the other hand, has touted her record as an independent. The Georgia native has served on the city council for several years. She was first elected in 2001 and served two terms and then returned to the council in 2013. Now, we don't expect Norwood to arrive here at Park Tavern until much later on this evening. You can probably see behind me there's still a lot of activity going on as members of the campaign get this space ready for tonight. Again, what they hope will be a victory party, but we are planning to talk to the candidate as soon as she arrives, and we'll bring you all the latest as soon as we can. For now, we are live at Park Tavern. Claire Sims, Fox 5 News. Claire, thank you. Now we continue our team coverage of the runoff with the Keisha Lines Bottoms campaign. Fox News Morris Diggs joins us now live from there. Morris, by all indications, this is going to be a close race. It could be just nip and tuck down to the end. There are two words the Keisha Lance Bottoms campaign they're looking for. They hope to happen. Of course, the first word will be victory. The second word will be settled. And what I mean by settled is they hope the momentum that Mary Norwood has had will have dampened some. We've got video of Keisha Lance Bottoms going into her polling spot with her family to cast her vote for herself, of course. Uh, the momentum, like I said, the last couple of weeks, it seems like it's all been on one side with Mary Norwood. What the professionals who are uh, guiding her through this process, what they say is that you can have a candidate that will have a surge, but then it'll settle back. Uh, two weeks ago, Keisha Lance Bottoms had a double-digit lead. Uh, since that time, she's really had to try to beat back some criticism of how she's handled her personal finances. Uh, she as acknowledges she's had some tax liens. She acknowledges she went on a payment plan with her water bill. All that's in the past, she says. She says that her and her husband are in much better financial shape right now. Uh, how about turnout? Well, they've been monitoring that. They see steady turnout in the areas they need to get. Reporting live from downtown Atlanta at the Hyatt Regency, the campaign party headquarters for Ms. Bottoms, I'm Morse Diggs. Back to you. Uh, we'll be on top of it all night. Morse, thanks. Stay with Fox 5 throughout the evening for team coverage of the runoff. As soon as the numbers start rolling in, we're going to post them on Fox5Atlanta.com and our Fox 5 Atlanta Facebook page. We'll have complete results and analysis tonight on Fox 5 News at 10 and News Edge at 11.